Aaron, you want to come back and sit in my car and he can talk to you in private? I'm in trouble? No. If you're, like I said, my man, if you're in trouble, we already grabbed you out of the car and your car's in park and everything? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna make sure you ain't got no guns on you. Can you face right, this right. way? Man got a young boy hoodie on. He's not to be played with. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Takes Chris, coming back again with another video. And today, is about the title? We'll be reacting to police hunt down man who tried to abduct child from bus stop. I have no mercy for this man whatsoever because of the title. Anyway, if you are a returning subscriber, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you stay tuned. This is a reaction channel, and I'll be reacting to what I just said. Let's get right into it. I hope you're having a wonderful day. On April 29th, 2022, an abduction attempt took place at a bus stop while a 16-year-old girl was waiting to be picked up by the bus to go to school. A surveillance video captured a man parking his vehicle and approaching the girl. He forcibly took her phone and grappled her in an oh, attempt no. to drag her to his car while she clung desperately to a nearby Is nobody fence, helping her? resisting his efforts. In an effort to lure her, the man held out her phone only to throw it at her when he realized she could not be subdued. The girl managed to escape by running onto the bus as the assailant fled in a white That's why everybody needs to go to the gym. A witness provided a description of both the vehicle and the suspect, which later led to police locating the car at a gas station a few hours after the incident. We gotta talk to you, you got an idea? Yeah, same thing on too. Yeah. Alright. We'll talk to you in a second. Someone's gonna come and talk to you here and explain everything's going on. You got an ID? Alright. You put your ID out, my man? Well, someone's gonna come talk to you. Just... I'm going to jail. No. Huh? No. Oh. You'd be out. You'd be out of the car in handcuffs right now if you were my man. Are you the owner of the car? Yes, Police just lost their license and stuff. Yes. Just lie. Just relax. I get why they no, have be... to. Well, oh, man, they just lie like it's nothing. We, we gotta talk to your passenger. Alright, it doesn't even involve you. So relax. Alright, someone's gonna come up and talk to, talk to them. Oh, so I didn't do anything? No. I'm not even coming here. What? He's coming up. He's talking to somebody right now. You can probably see him in your mirror. See him back there? He'll come talk to you in one second. Your first name? What's your first name? De'Aaron? Yeah. Uh, De'Aaron Jackson. I don't know what's going on. I'm just like, what the hell? I honestly don't either. I would tell you. Yeah. Yeah, we, they, they wanted us to stop the car so they could talk to. So relax. It's more of a. Not you. Alright. Here's a driver if you need Detective. Stuff. What's up, man? Why don't we get him out? So, why don't we get them separated? Hey, De'Aaron, you want to come back and sit in my car and he can talk to you in private? I'm in trouble? No. If you're, like I said, my man, if you're in trouble, we already grabbed you out of the car and your car is in park and everything? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna make sure you ain't got no guns on you. Can you face this way? Man got a young boy hoodie on. He's not to be he's played with. He'll let you know what's up. He's the detective and he's the sergeant, so right. he'll be able to answer any questions you got, okay? I'll get my keys out my phone. You, your car's fine here, man. Ain't no one gonna fuck with your shit. Not a word. Yeah. Just relax, he'll talk to you. I think she's she playing some game or something on people. Yeah, she make it your passenger. You, you know him that well? Yeah, that's my friend. Right. Uh, he's gonna, he wants to talk to her. Is it her or him? What is it? Will she identify as her? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not trying to be rude or insensitive. I just didn't know which way to go with it. And there's no easy way of talking about it. Just have a seat. He'll come He'll come talk to you. He wants to talk I to her. I don't know. I can't say nothing. Man, I got to do all this? Yeah. Put Damn. your feet in. I'll roll the windows down. I'm going I'm to sit in the car with you and hang out. Pause. You want that out of your way? Just slide that over there, man. Once he talks to her, I'm sure he'll come back, talk to you, and, and 
the main issue is her. So you you can relax, my man. I ain't bullshitting you. The main thing is her. So that's why I think he just. Yeah, no. It, it, the main thing is the main thing is her. So the, do it, it, that's why he's talking to her first. Did I it or try to have on red? Yeah, not a police confused me. I, ain't I can tell by the look on your face. You're like, what the fuck? Just, it, it, you're cool. If, if there was an issue, my man, you'd be handcuffed and everything else. You know what I mean? So just relax. All right, now it's, I'm it's confused. All on her. Yeah, relax. Beard, man. It's, you can see all the focus is on on her. So just relax, man. You just had the wrong person in your car. You know what I mean? All right, swap body so, cams, bro. Yeah, you confused me. I appreciate me you cooperating. I'm, you know, people swoop down on me. I'd be like, what the fuck, too. No, I don't think so. I'll be honest. I don't think anyone's going to jail. Like, well, he, he's a detective and. I think she's saying something, so I think it, he, I don't know. <laughs> I know, man. If I was in a car and a cop swooped in on me like that, I'd be, my heart would be beating pretty good too, man. <laughs> no, I think it, I think it's, what, I think it's, they'll talk to you. Hey, dear. When all this is over with, my man, I'd be done with. You know what I mean? I'm coming. I'm coming into five minutes of your life, my man. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like. It, when did you get out? Four days ago, and look where you're at already. You just so, got you know out four I mean? days ago. How old are you? I'm gonna be thirty. So I, I think it's time to make a little bit better decisions. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Uh, I think she's trying to get you in trouble. The detective arrived and formally informed the man of his Miranda rights. The man adamantly denied being present at the bus stop and refused any further interrogation. However, the entire encounter was captured on camera, revealing a different truth. Does he have like a, does he do like some off the wall crazy shit? Or is this, yeah, a lighter. Uh, see my, uh, I don't dare, light is in the car right here. What the fuck? I'll let you know, I'm gonna make sure it's okay with my son. He wants to talk to you, but we don't want to talk to you. Well, we have on him from this morning, after he left your house, you said between 6 and 6.30. Um, he drove down Arlington to Neville, parked his car on Neville. Oh, they from Akron. LeBron, uh, hey, LeBron don't vouch for that man. He waiting for the bus to go to school. He kind of stood around, pretending like he was waiting for the bus for a couple minutes, and he grabbed her and tried to drag her back to his car. She grabbed onto the fence there, fought him off. And then when the bus started coming up, <laughs> she started screaming, here comes the bus. He had her phone, he threw her phone at her, and took off running out in his car and came off. What? So I don't know if he was going to sexually assault her, or if he was going to rape her. I don't know what his intentions were, but that's what he did. This the whole thing's caught on this. So he didn't say about other than going to Minuteman. Did he, he say he went to Minuteman? Or he, he, say he, he, he said he was going to go there. And he didn't say he did. He just said he was going to go there. And I, I, we're kind of like in this thing where I'm trying not to have him have control over me. I'm trying not to have control over him. So I pretty much don't ask too many questions. You know, I just go you know, and kind of, you know, as long as it's respectful, I don't really need to ask any questions. Because we have to have problems with that in the background. You know, right. He called me too many times or some of that. And I was going to call him. Okay. All right. Listen, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just giving you a heads up that the best way to handle things at our age is to be honest. I mean, we're not 15-year-old kids where we try and lie our way out of it. But everything that can be recorded in this world, man, there's cameras everywhere. So I ain't trying to bullshit you. I'm just telling you. No, he's smoking in the back of the I'm sure you've been to court and you see how things go in court. If you're honest, I guess that's just normal. Tell people you fucked up or whatever. It, it, goes a lot easier you know what I mean 
especially nowadays with the, the judges the way they are. He's actually a full time power. He does, it's in his wallet. I put some money in that book. Here, I'm gonna just give you somebody to take with you. Just call me when you can. I wonder how they met. Hey, don't act silly, my man. But how about here? I gotta put you in cuffs because when we go into county, you have to go in in cuffs. So when you get out, just face that way. I'm not moving, but just face that way. And put your hands on your back, all right? The man faced charges of abduction and received a five-year sentence. This verdict was influenced by his breach of probation, which stemmed from earlier convictions related to burglary and weapons offenses. Notably, he had been released just four days before the abduction incident occurred. Do you believe that a five-year sentence was sufficient considering the circumstances? Share he was trying to get his get back. On oh, whatever that happened before those four days, he was trying to get, like, it's probably the reason he went to jail. I don't know. Let me, let me know what you think down below. Was five years enough? Did he deserve more? Did he deserve less? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Make sure you watch one video. Another video, another, 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 and then you just end it in this Texas Chris loophole, you know what I mean? Hope you have a wonderful day. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, Texas Chris, we sign out.